left. Yes, please. Thanks. I'm late for a dinner date. Me too. Where are you going? Let's see. Hill House, off Route 41. Wait a minute. Let me look at that. That's where I'm going. I got a letter like this. Well, to be perfectly frank, I run a specialized hotel and a telephone service which provide gentlemen with the company of a young lady for a short while. Oh, yeah? What's the phone number? So how did you know Colonel Mustard works in Washington? Is he one of your clients? Certainly not. I was asking Miss Scarlett. Well, you tell him it's not true. It's not true. Is that true? No, it's not true. Ha-ha! So it is true. A double negative. Double negative? You mean you have photographs? Mrs. White, you've been paying our friend the blackmailer ever since your husband died under, shall we say, mysterious circumstances. Ah! Oh. <gasps> why is that funny? I see. That's why he was lying on his back. Excuse me. Open them. Why not? I enjoy getting presents from strange men. A candlestick. One face to face, confront Mr. Body with his crimes, and then turn him over to the police. So everything is explained. Nothing's explained. We still don't know who killed him. But the point is, we've got to find out in the next 39 minutes before the police arrive. My God, we can't have them come here now. But how can we possibly find out which of you did it? What do you mean, which of you did it? Well, I didn't do it. Well, one of us did. We all had the opportunity. We all had a motive. Great. We'll all go to the chair. Maybe it wasn't one of us. Well, who else could it have been? Who else is in the house? Only oh, the, cook. the cook. The cook! <laughs> What's this, Wadsworth? I'm afraid those are the negatives to which Colonel Mustard earlier referred. Oh, my God. Were you planning to blackmail him, Wadsworth? <laughs> Certainly not. I'd obtained them for the Colonel, and I was going to give them back as soon as Mr. Body was unmasked. Mmm, very pretty. Would you like to see these, Yvette? They might shock you. No, merci. I am a lady. Oh, how do you know what kind of pictures they are if you're such a lady? What sort of pictures are they? They are my pictures, and I'd like them back, please. No, I'm afraid there's something in them that concerns me, too. You've got new injuries. Well, he's certainly dead now. Why would anyone want to kill him twice? It seems so unnecessary. Well, that's what we call overkill. What we call a psychotic. Unless he wasn't dead before. What's the difference? Anybody else want a whiskey? Yeah. How can we throw him outside in this weather? We let him stay in the house. He may get suspicious. We... Excuse me. This man's drunk. Dead drunk. Dead right. <laughs> You're not going to drive home, are you? He won't be driving home, officer. I promise you that. No. Somebody will give him a lift, huh? Oh, we'll 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 get him a car. A long black car. A limousine. <laughs> In the billiard room, Miss Scarlett seized the opportunity and, under cover of darkness, crossed to the library where she hit the cop whom she'd been bribing on the head with a lead pipe. True or false? True. Who are you? Mason. Yvette hid in the study to check that Mr. Body was dead. He got up and followed them down the hall, so she hit him on the head and dragged him to the toilet. Why? To create confusion. It worked. Why did she do it? Was it because she was acting under orders from the person who later killed her? Who? 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 Was it one of her clients? Or was it a jealous wife? Or an adulterous doctor? No. It was her employer, Miss Garland. That's a lie. Is it? You used her the way you always used her. You killed the motorist when we split up to search the house. How could I have known about the secret passage? Easy. Yvette told you. So when we split up again, you switched off the electricity. It was easy for you here on the ground floor. Then, in the dark, you got the lead pipe and the rope, strangled Yvette, ran to the library, killed the cop, picked up the gun where Yvette dropped it, opened the front door, recognized the singing telegram from her photograph, and shot her. You've no proof. The gun is missing. Gentlemen, 
Turn out your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. Brilliantly worked out, Wadsworth. I congratulate you. Me too. Shut up! So, it is political. You're a communist. No, Mr. Green. Communism is just a red herring. Like all members of the oldest profession, I'm a capitalist. And I'm going to sell my secrets, your secrets, to the highest bidder. And what if we don't cooperate? You will. You, as a mere butler, have no access to government secrets. So, I'm afraid your moment has come. Not so fast, Miss Scarlet. I do have a secret or two. Oh, yeah, such as? The game's up, Scarlet. There are no more bullets left in that gun. Oh, come on. You don't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. It's not a trick. There was one shot at Mr. Body in the study, two for the chandelier, two at the lounge door, and one for the singing telegram. That's not six. One plus two plus two plus one. Uh-uh. There was only one shot that got the chandelier. That's one plus two plus one plus one. Even if you were right, that would be one plus one plus two plus one, not one plus two plus one plus one. Okay, fine. One plus two plus one. Shut up! Wadsworth, don't hate me for trying to shoot you. Frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. As I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets left in this gun, you see? One plus two, plus one. 